I told you I'm not pregnant, she said. So you don't mind testing with these kits to prove it to me, do you? We talked, we didn't argue, we'd never argued until now, for a few more minutes before she agreed just to get off my back. Ten minutes later, she came out of the bathroom with her lower lip quivering. I can't believe it, she muttered. I took the test devices from her. One had a very bold plus sign on it, another had a very bold double dash, and the third one said pregnant in bold letters. She cried and buried her face in my shoulder. Now you're going to kick me out. You don't want a fat old woman nine years older than you ruining your life, she sobbed. Within seconds, my mind cleared. Weeks of kicking the can down the road instead of having a serious talk with Misty had led to a decision. I started laughing. Misty pushed me away and screamed, Why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing at you. I smiled and pulled her to me and kissed her hard. Breaking the kiss, I said, I'm laughing because I finally realized the truth. I love you and I desperately want to have a baby with you. And if you agree, I want to marry you. She looked at me strangely, wiped away her tears and asked, Do you really think so? You can bet your perfect ass that I do. I laughed, picking her up in my arms and spinning her around. Before her tears had a chance to dry, she was already lying on her back on the kitchen table. Since the day eight years ago when Misty found out she was pregnant, she has given birth to four children. Having four children aged seven and under is a real challenge, but we love it. She loves being a homemaker for which I am grateful, and we love our life together and each other. When we have the opportunity to hire a few babysitters for the kids, we still play together in the mix, but no longer in tournaments. Every day I thank my mysterious ex-wife fraud, JC, and her sexpot accomplice, Alicia, for unknowingly making me the happiest dude in the state.